Hey guys, and welcome back to the series where we talk nothing but fancy Premier League. Before I get started on today's video, I just want to quickly inform all the new subscribers about the league that I've got running to support this channel. As it stands, there's me and 48 others competing in the league currently, which means you've got 1 in 49 chance of taking home that winner takes all £50 cash prize. To enter, all you need to do is enter the unique league code shown on screen and make sure you're subscribed to this channel to be eligible for that £50 cash prize. At the end of game week 18, I'll be locking any further entries to the mini league, so don't worry, there'll be no late entrants stealing all the plaudits. Currently sitting in first place in the league is Martin Justice of Power Wheelchair. He's occupied that position from the opening game week, so he's certainly showing signs of consistency. And he's backed up that consistency tag with a very solid 63 points in the last game week. And a special mention goes out to Faisal J of Urzal FC. Owning Firmino, Costa and captain in Lukaku, he shot up the league rankings with a mouth-watering league best of 90 points. What I wouldn't do for a point haul of this nature. Last year's champion Callum Sims has once again had a very decent start to the season and currently sits 12th in the league. Callum, if you are watching this, last year's prize money is still waiting for you, so make sure to read the description and get in touch ASAP. So, following that talk about my league, where we touched upon topics such as squad depth, consistency, good management and huge point hauls, unfortunately, it's time to swiftly move on to my team. Ah, <sighs> f sake. Look, by all means, 42 points is not a disaster game week, but it's still the kind of point tally that makes the rest of the week seem like a f***ing eternity. Like I said, 42 points and 1 point from average is no disaster, but it certainly could have been if Diego Costa, my new signing and captain, hadn't spared my blushes with two excellent goals against Swansea. Not only did he score two goals, but he really got in the faces of Swansea and picked up all three bonus points, which is always a great feeling when it's the player that you've given the armband. When I made the transfer and brought in Mason Holgate, to me it seemed like a good bit of business. He was one of the standout performers in what's been a very good start to Everton's season. And for four and a half million, he seemed like a bargain. But now, with Seamus Coleman back from injury and Mason Holgate being dropped to the bench, looking back, this transfer seems like a royal f up. So far, for the upcoming game week 5, I've got no transfer activity to report just yet, and once again I'm leaving it very late to complete my transfer business. Due to some bad management decisions, at the moment I'm stuck with 3 defenders that aren't even in the starting 11 anymore, so clearly that needs to be addressed. Provisionally, I'm considering perhaps Carl Walker at the back. And saving that wild card, it can always be utilised when Aguero comes back from suspension, it'll give me the opportunity to bring him in and really get my team organised. Leicester have been indifferent so far this season, certainly in the Premier League, but with two goals for Mahrez in the Champions League in midweek, he's once again earned himself one more shot in the Bresby Babes team. With Vardy and Mahrez at home to Burnley this game week, they're players that I'm happy to give one more chance and hope they put some goals past Burnley. Firstly for my players to watch this week, I almost couldn't bring myself to feature Etienne Capoue. I say this because surely his form can't continue. However, who am I to say? And honestly, it would have been criminal not to give this guy a mention. At 4.8 million, he's been the bargain of the season so far and has three goals in the opening four games to his name. If I'm honest, he's not a player that I'll be bringing in because I'm a skeptic that thinks surely this can't continue. However, he has proved me wrong so far and has picked up a lot of points. I shiver at the thought of the points that have been wasted on this guy who has no doubt only been bench fodder for a high percentage of FPL managers. But for those of you who have kept him in your side, then fair play to you. Secondly, I felt it only fair to at least include one defensive option in my players to watch this week, and today that defender is Carl Walker. Considering the price of other Spurs defenders, at 5.7 million is not that bad a value, and has picked up two assists in his last four games. On top of that, he kept a clean sheet in that very impressive 4-0 thrashing away to Stoke last weekend. Tottenham now followed that up with a game against Sunderland, so there could certainly be more points on the cards for Carl Walker, and after last weekend he's now topping the defender charts. Antonio of West Ham is another player that would just be criminal not to mention this game week. Despite a disappointing defeat to Watford, Antonio stood out for West Ham, scoring another two goals to continue his goal-scoring form. So far this season, he's been the shining light in that West Ham side, and despite Payet and Lanzini being back for them in the last game, Antonio still stood out. So for me, at 7.1 million, he's almost now in the bracket of a must-have for the upcoming fixtures, and he's certainly a player that I'll be considering to bring in as soon as possible. As mentioned in previous game weeks, Sadio Mane makes his way back into my players to watch. He is expensive at 8.9 million, but to be fair to him, he's looked sensational since he put on a Liverpool shirt. Firmino is unlucky not to be mentioned, so alternatively, you could opt for him. The only thing that does put me off slightly is a tough away trip to Stamford Bridge. However, John Terry is injured for this game, which means it could be a first start for David Luiz, and we all know what that means. Depending on what David Luiz shows up that day, Mane could pick up 15 points or nothing. For me, this game week, it might just be a bit too much of a gamble. 
After a very difficult spell at Liverpool, Christian Benteke, now at a more suited Palace, has finally got going for the season. At 7.5 million, he's a very good value option, and he's a proven goal scorer in the Premier League, we all know that. With Palace at home to a very struggling Stoke side, Benteke could be in for a few more goals, with some people even speculating about giving him the armband. Diego Costa also retains his place this game week. He was an absolute menace against Swansea on Sunday and scored another two goals in a very energetic performance. Personally, I feel quite confident keeping Costa in my side for this game week against a rather dodgy Liverpool defence, especially if Dijan Lovren also misses the game. Romelu Lukaku has burst back onto the scene after a fantastic hat-trick against Sunderland on Monday night. Up until mid-October, Everton still have very favourable fixtures and with Lukaku back in form, he could be in for some serious points. And lastly, for my players to watch this game week, I've got to mention Kevin De Bruyne. If you have got the likes of Sanchez, Hazard, Aguero or Ibrahimovic, then at 10.5 million, De Bruyne is very hard to afford. But I thought his performance against United away from home on the weekend was absolutely sensational. As mentioned last week, Man City have got so many midfield options to choose from, it's hard to know which one's going to stand out each and every game week. But if De Bruyne can keep playing like that, there's no doubt he'd be picking up a lot of points this season. With Aguero still suspended for game week 5, and playing at home to Bournemouth in the next game, De Bruyne could be set to again be the main man for them. Okay guys, and that is it for this game week. As always, good luck to you all for game week five. Don't forget guys, subscribe to the channel, get involved with my league, and I will catch you all again next week.